Hi, this is James Pickles, Fast and Sveti product owner. In this video, I'm going to explain how to produce radiation exceedance curves for several times of interest, which is a new feature introduced in version 8.4. I've loaded one of the Sveti example studies and on the risk preferences tab, you'll see a new summary exceedance tab and one of the groups in this tab is for thermal radiation exceedance and this allows you to specify the times of interest for the exceedance curves by default the number of times of interest is set to one and the time of interest is set to zero so by default your radiation exceedance curve will include all fire scenarios in your study. In this example study here, I've increased the number of times of interest to three, and I've added two additional times of interest, 300 seconds and 500 seconds. And when we produce the exceedance curves, we will see one exceedance curve for each of these times of interest. So to produce these, we go to the standard risk gallery and then select the summary exceedance curves option and then go into the thermal radiation exceedance tab. We can see an exceedance curve for each of those times of interest, zero seconds, 300 seconds and 500 seconds. So what are these curves telling us? It tells us how the thermal radiation exceedance frequency varies with thermal radiation and with time. So starting with the blue curve, which is for zero seconds, this curve will include all scenarios which last longer than zero seconds, which is obviously all scenarios in your study. The green curve is for 300 seconds, so this curve will only include the scenarios where the duration of the fire exceeds 300 seconds. And then the red curve, which is for 500 seconds, this curve includes all scenarios where the duration of the fire is longer than 500 seconds. So these curves are produced for each risk ranking point. Within this study, the risk ranking point is called the middle pipe rack. So this allows us to see how the thermal radiation exceedance frequency for any given thermal radiation level, how that exceedance frequency varies with time at the middle pipe rack. So this could be quite useful, for example, for PFP type studies, where you wanted to see maybe the maximum thermal radiation level at the risk ranking point, and also how the exceedance frequency varies with time for any level of thermal radiation. It might also be useful for uh, occupied buildings type studies where maybe one of the emergency exits from a building could potentially be exposed to thermal radiation. So you might, for example, be interested in a relatively low level of thermal radiation, such as four or five kilowatts per square meter, where that level of thermal radiation could prevent someone from being able to exit um, a particular building. So these types of charts will allow you to see how the thermal radiation exceedance frequency for those levels of thermal radiation vary with time. And then you can make some appropriate judgments um, using this information. So thank you for listening and if you have any questions or would like to get in touch, please email digital at dmvgl.com.